Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Jane and I am at Blush and Maine. And today I'm going to be showing you guys some amazing techniques on our client here today. This is a beautiful wig that one of the colorists at the salon that I work at, uh, Studio Sage Colored. Her name is Erin Keelan. I'm sure you're familiar with her work. And this is one of the beautiful wigs we've used for our photo shoots before. And when I was thinking about what to show you guys, I thought, why don't I show you guys what we do best here? And that is some really fun editorial uh, avant-garde hairstyling techniques. And I'm going to show you how to create them using the Dyson Corral, the wireless flat iron from Dyson, and just show you how that can aid in these styles. So I hope you guys enjoy. Each one are gonna be slightly different and can be done in several different ways. Using a tail comb, some hairpins, and some foil. So I'm excited, let's jump in. So for the first one, I'm gonna show you guys what's called a rickrack technique. Now, a lot of you guys have probably heard of a rickrack technique, and basically what it is is you can do them several different types of ways. But the way I like to do them is I like to take a hairpin and wrap the hair in a crisscross or kind of like an infinity shape uh, direction. And a lot of people set these, but sometimes when you're on set, you don't have time to set an entire wig or, you know, overnight. Sometimes you have to do it in the moment. So I thought this was a really good way to show you guys how we kind of do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one of my hairpins and I'm going to separate the hairpin like that. And I'm gonna take my Dyson Corral, and it's wireless, which makes this even better because when I'm on set, I do not have to worry about going and grabbing my flat iron, taking it back to the studio back there, plugging it in, and waiting for it to heat up. This can just be ready to go. It's pretty easy, you just hit the on button and you turn it on. So for more avant-garde styling, I like to turn it up all the way to 410. So how I'm gonna start with my Rick Rack technique. Let me bring her a little closer. Is I'm gonna take a really small section. So this can get a little tedious, but it creates this beautiful technique. So I am just going to take a super small section, about that big, and I'm gonna to try to get it as close to the root as possible, and I'll get you guys as close as I can. And I'm going to wrap the hair in an infinity or back and forth around each prong until the end of the hair strand is all gone. Now you can leave the ends out if you just want that center section of the hair rick racked. So I'm gonna leave just that ends out. I'm gonna grab my Dyson Corral and I'm just going to set that flat iron on top for just a few seconds. Let that go. And you can let that sit and cool and really have a great set. Or if you're in a hurry, you can go ahead and take it out and have a beautiful texture. I'm gonna do a few more just so I can show you that technique again. Again, separating the bobby pin. I'm just gonna do the center of the hair so we can kind of see what that texture would look like, just giving a bend in the, in the, the mid links and leave out the ends there, like that. The fact that this is wireless makes life so much easier. I'm not bogged down with cords. I don't have to worry about plugging it in. I don't need an extension cord. It's really nice. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like now. Feels cool. So I just like to, just like that. And there you go, you have this really cool zigzag technique 
or texture. And what I like to do is I like to pull it apart and then you get this really beautiful, airy, light and fluffy texture that you can mold and play with, which is just really amazing. And you can even do an entire head of this rickrack and you can mold it and shape it in really fun, honestly, shapes and creations. Cut things into it. And I left some of the ends out there and you can see what that kind of does. And I just love using this in a hairstyle on set. It's a really easy, quick, unique way to add texture and light and movement to the hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one and took something away from it. I am also going to show you how to do what a lot of people call a straw set, but the way that we like to do it on set when we're in a pinch is we like to use a rat tail comb like this. Sometimes things change day of set or day of shoot and you need to kind of pivot and think, oh, what will make this more interesting? And sometimes it's good to just have a rat tail comb on hand and you can see how like that Rick Rack set's kind of cool. It's just kind of sitting on there like a nice little fluffy cloud. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the other side. This is also a very small section of hair. A little bit bigger than that. Just a tiny little section of hair. I'm gonna get my flat iron ready so I don't have to keep reaching behind me to grab it. So you're gonna take your rat tail comb and you're just simply going to wrap the hair while you twist the hair at the same time, if you guys can see. And the great thing about this is you can get it as close to the scalp as you'd like by just flipping that comb in and you can even just like shimmy it into the hair there to let it set if you need to. But we're not gonna to need to do that because it's gonna be a quick little texture and you're gonna go all the way down. You can always play with these textures. That's what's really great about avant-garde styling or editorial styling is you can really make it your own. And I love to do that on set, playing with these types of textures, using things we have on hand to make something unique and different. So I'm doing essentially the same thing that I did with the Rick Rack, is I'm just applying heat with the Dyson to the area that I've curled. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of flipping it over, running the heat up and down along that rat tail comb. So each strand gets the same amount of heat, but it's just for just a few seconds. It's not making it, it's not keeping it in one place. It's really just like gliding the heat throughout the hair, making sure everything's gotten a good amount of heat to it and slide that rat tail comb out and that is the really cool technique that you get using a rat tail comb and again you can leave it like this and just add throughout the hair, a really unique texture that's gonna pick up light really beautifully. Or like we did with the Rick Rack set, you can go through, and I like to kind of pull at the ends to go and pull it apart. And I'll go at the top and I'll lightly pull that texture apart. And it gives a similar but slightly different texture as the Rick Rack set that I just love when you get really close up to it. And I'll show you guys how fun that looks. And that's just with a rat tail foam and a little bit of warmth from my Dyson Corral. And really, 
Um, these things can all be done really quickly. So I wanted to showcase the ease of these things while using something like a wireless flat iron because again, sometimes we don't have the time to set an entire wig or we did set an entire wig and it didn't turn out the way we wanted it. So these are really great options for when we don't have the time and time isn't on our side. So for our third and final technique, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a bigger texture, like a bend in the hair using foil. How you're gonna start is you're gonna take a slice of hair. So you're gonna take a thin slice of hair. I would say not bigger, not the width, not bigger than the width of your flat iron. So we're gonna keep it pretty, yeah, that's, a, that's about, that's good. I'm going to place a piece of foil like I'm, like I'm foiling hair on top. And then I'm gonna place another piece of foil over top of that, just like I'm foiling hair. I'm gonna clip each side of the foil down. And then I'm gonna take my flat iron and I'm gonna run the heat up along, up and down this hair that's in the foil. Making it super smooth, making sure like I did with the others that the hair is being evenly heated through this foil. And then I'm going to fold the foil with that hair in the foil back and forth. Kind of like you're creating like a little foil packet. until you get the very top. Making it super flat, kind of really smoothing that out. So now I'm gonna go and really, really make that foil as flat as possible. Making sure that the whole piece of foil that you know hair is in is getting even distribution of heat. And and then I'm gonna let that cool. And then I'm gonna do one right underneath. Same thing, a thin section of hair. Just like I'm foiling. Now, one thing about the Dyson Corral you should know is it will yell at you and, and tell you it's time to be turned off. So that's what I've been doing in between techniques. So while we're filming, there's no loud like beeping or anything, but it's kind of nice because how many times do we run out of the house and we're like, oh, did we turn the flat iron off? <laughs> the Dyson crowd will not let you do that. It will make sure that you have turned that flat iron off. So again, I am just folding that hair up. This one, I'm doing that. I'm gonna go back and forth with this guy. Smoothing that out. I 
and you can see I even had some of that hair pop out there, but it's okay. With, with avant-garde or editorial styling, what's great about it is, honestly, it's creative. So if you've oops something or something's not perfect, you can go back and fix it. And you don't have to worry about something not looking exactly the way you want it. Cause A, it's, this is a hair piece and B it's art. So kind of have fun with it. Let's see how that first one turns out. And this is that really fun technique or texture that you get. You get that nice pretty bend out of the hair. I like to make things extra frizzy and all wild. So I'll pull, I'll pull it apart at those ends and I'll make like a fun shape with it. Isn't that just so cool? I love the way that looks. And how fast was that? And you can pull it apart and make it wild and frizzy and, and you've got like that really pretty, light, bendy texture. And this one I might redo just really quickly. I think I might've taken too big of a section here. Just so like I said, it's totally fine to go back and redo it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm actually gonna go back in and do it again and show you guys one more time how you can create. And I'm just reusing the foil. one more time all right let that cool for a few seconds I really hope you guys enjoyed and look at that much better I really hope you guys enjoyed this little segment on fun avant-garde hairstyling. Definitely let me know if you try any of these. I'm at Blush in Maine. Thank you so much for being here. And again, if you have any questions, just let me know and we'll see you guys next time.